Welcome back to another edition of Our City. A few things going around the city of Elizabeth this week. On Wednesday, April 23rd, around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to attend the Gris Grand opening and ribbon cutting of the Hampton Inn at 1128 Spring Street. They have put some money into the hotel. They revamped it and looking forward uh, to that day as well. On Friday, April 27th at 1130 in the morning, I'm going to attend Environmental Day. It's hosted by Future City Incorporated. It was also the subject of our show last week. This event offers students from various schools throughout the city of Elizabeth an opportunity to learn from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the U.S. Coast Guard, and various other organizations about our environment, our waterways, and our estuary. This event is held at the Peterstown Community Center, located at 418 Palmer Street. And for more information, please call 908-659-0689. And on Saturday, April 28th, at 11 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to join folks for the annual Union County Walk for Autism Awareness. This, for more information, please call the Office for People with Special Needs at 908-527-4781. Eight one, which is the Union County number, uh, or register online at www.ucnj.org backslash opsn.reg. It's probably a lot easier to call a number. Following that event at 11.30 in the morning, I'm going to attend the closing ceremony for our special needs program located at school number one, 250 Broadway. And on Sunday, April 29th, at 11 o'clock in the morning, the 13th anniversary of Reverend Joe Adair at Second Macedonian Baptist Church, located at 1251 Fairmont Avenue. And on Tuesday, May 1st, at 9 o'clock in the morning, the City of Elizabeth's annual Earth Day celebration in front of City Hall. This is a citywide cleanup effort. We have hundreds of volunteers from the city, the county, private organizations, all come together to clean and beautify neighborhoods as well as the waterfront schools throughout the city of Elizabeth. This event concludes at 1 o'clock in the afternoon with a luncheon at the Peterstown Community Center. And if you need more information concerning these events or any other events, please call the Public Information Office at 908-820-4124. Please stay with us after these brief messages where I'm going to talk with some young ladies and their teacher in a visual arts class here in the city of Elizabeth. We're creating tomorrow's jobs today. Kane University. Welcome back to our city where I'm pleased to be joined by Miss Natalie Mendez an eighth grade student in our city. Natalie, welcome. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. And Christiana D'Souza, another eighth grade student. Mm -hmm. Christiana, welcome. Hello. And their teacher, Miss Anna Maria DiGeronimo. Anna Maria, welcome. How are you, ma'am? Good. So, first of all, ladies, we're going to start with you. Tell tell me what type of art program you're involved in, and then I'm going to ask your teacher to give me the spec. What school are you going to, first of all? Oh, uh, well, I go to William F. Halloran School number 22, and me and Christiana are both part of uh, William F. Halloran's visual arts program. Okay. And Christiana, do you, do you, when did you get the urge to do something like this? Uh, the urge to join the visual arts program, right. or? Okay. Yeah. Uh, during sixth grade, I was, I used to be in band and play the flute, but uh, I always enjoyed drawing, and Missy Geronimo seemed like a great teacher, so I wanted to join VA. So that's a great segue, Mr. Geronimo. Yes, it You is. seem like a great teacher. So uh, are you a great teacher? Of course you are. <laughs> but they make me that. They <laughs> make that. It's because of them. They make it. I wouldn't be who I am without them. So you, you've you been an art, artist uh, for a long time, right? I mean, you've... In you've, education, in 30 education, years. 30 years. And what was you, How did you get involved in that area? Uh, when I was in high school, I met a woman who taught me, Kathleen Carolyn, and she kept telling me, you're wonderful working with other people, your art is on spot, what are you going to do in your future? And I decided to leave going into literature to pursue art. And I came here to Kane and I pursued art. So you did, you have a degree from Kane? 
I have three from Kane. And, and tell us about this. And those. my first one is in fine arts education. It's fine arts, uh, studio art, craftsperson, slash educator. So I did an entire program where I studied all the fine arts. I did the crafts part of it. And then my concluding part was actually becoming an educator, doing the program where I went back to where I teach now in Elizabeth. I did my student teaching there and managed to go there and work and have been there ever since. So it's 30 years strong. I finish in June. And you're going to keep going. I, I have a long way to go. I'm not ready to go yet. Okay. Okay. So I, I not only I asked Christina, That's she got the urge in, in Christiana, she got the urge in sixth grade to do visual arts. When did you get the urge to do this? Um, honestly, I've had, um, I've always been drawing, but when I joined uh, visual arts is when I actually began to take drawing seriously. And I joined in the sixth grade because I didn't think I would be good at music. So what made you think that drawing, as, did at a very young age, in other words, are you a little girl, you like to draw things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and your parents said, wow, this is good, right? It was okay. <laughs> like the, yeah, it was okay. <laughs> well, it must be good if you're in the visual arts program. Yeah, that's where I learned and I, you know, uh, developed my skills that got me where I am today. Okay, and, and how many teachers have you had in this area? Uh, well, I've always been taught um, visual arts by Ms. Teacher Anima. Always? Always. And, and Christiana, same thing? Yeah. So, Anna Maria, do you have the, you have the students from different age groups doing this? Um, initially, I started out, I was K through 8. Uh, in the recent years, I'm doing predominantly middle school and a couple of the younger grades, but I've taught both of them for quite some time. Uh, who was with me from second grade and who's with me, what, from fourth grade, I think? I'm from fourth grade. Yeah. Fourth grade, and yeah, Christiana's second. had me since second. They started out in my general arts program, which is one day a week, and then they came on to visual arts, where they see me multiple days. So, Christiana, do you still play the flute? Uh, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> you kind of gave it up altogether, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, so you mentioned that one day a week. How many days a week are they offered art in the system? For a regular general art, it's, it's usually one day a week. The students come as a whole group, either it's all second grade, fourth grade, you know, one grade level, one classroom. But when they get into the visual arts program and the gifted and talented program, in sixth and seventh grade, their curriculum allows them to come five days a week. So they'll come five days a week, 45 minute periods. And then in eighth grade, due to some of the curriculum restraints with the uh, sciences and all, we've had to change over where they come three days a week. But students like Christiana and Natalie who come three days a week to me, uh, they'll come lunchtime, sit in the room. If there's a substitute teacher and they have finished their work in that classroom, they'll come sit with me. They'll stop in after school, before school. Whenever they need to come in, they'll, they'll work, which is generally five days a week. I see them for at least an hour a day. At least so, an hour so Christiana and Natalie, tell me, what, what type of art are you doing? It's visual arts is a big word, so mm -hmm. are there specifics to that? Well, um, I, we both specialize mostly in 2D art, so, you know, on paper. But we also do digital, like um, our her Christiana's teen art piece was a digital piece, and I also went 3D, where I did a you know design, fashion design. Fashion design. Mm -hmm. So we're uh, we don't stay in the 2D realm. We uh, do everything we can. What's your favorite? Oh, um, it's hard to pick. I I guess I'd say 2D art because it's what I'm used to doing. Yeah. Christiana, what about you? I enjoy uh, traditional as well, but I usually enjoy digital more. So digital is it? I take it that's on a computer. Yeah, it's on okay. <laughs> that's her. That's her teen arts pieces. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get to that in a minute. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe after the break. But uh, so you started taking art seriously in the second grade, and you started taking it in the fourth grade, right? Is that what I heard Anna Marie say? Mm -hmm. That's when I started. That's with when them. you started with them, right? Mm -hmm. So, what do your parents think? Um, well, they like it. I mean. Art, art is not something, um, it's something to, you know, express your ideas and uh, something you develop well. You have to learn, spend time on it, but it's really nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. Christiana, what about your parents? Uh, they used to not like it that much because they were afraid that I wasn't going to be good enough or make money, but now they're starting to gain a little bit more confidence in me. Yeah, because it's a growing, it's a maturing process, right? I mean, yeah. you're not, 
you're not going to be the best in second grade, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so you both plan to. We're going to talk about that in high school in a, in a few minutes. So, as, aside from drawing, what other artwork would you do? Well, um, uh, you know, painting, oil paints, uh, something that we both really like to do. Uh, we also do comic books for projects. You know, um, 3D dioramas for projects. We and you brought some samples here we're going to look at uh, a little bit later, too. Plus, so. plus they got into, well, Natalie got into fashion design this year. So clothing? Yeah. She yeah. actually, her, her piece for Teen Arts, which we couldn't bring because it's a huge mannequin, but she actually designed the outfit on it from beginning to end, her sketches into the actual fabric, pinning it to the mm -hmm. mannequin. Was it a, a female designer or a male designer? Female designer, yeah. 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 Uh, completely on the sewing machine. Completely on the sewing machine. Yeah, from the fabric all the way to the dress. Really? Yeah. And did you design it on a computer first, or was it just oh well, it's, sketch it on a yeah. pad? I, first, I started off with an idea on a piece of paper. Then I went and I fixed it up, added color, bought the fabrics. You know, everything kind of comes together at the end. Okay. And how about you, uh, Christiana? I don't know. You don't do fashion stuff, though. No, I don't. No. But, uh, but she's digital. She does yeah. more digital. Yeah. We're going to see that in a minute, too. Um, do you participate in art outside of the district? You know, shows local. We're going to talk about the teen arts program, but mm -hmm. what other shows have you participated in? Uh, well, uh, we did participate on uh, the... Library. Yeah, the, the library exhibition. The one that we did, um, what was it called? You did the... Um, National, National Parks. Parks. Mm -hmm. You did the Dream Rocket Project for that's at the national level. That's at the national. Tell level. me about that. Tell me about on tour, you both so. did that. Yeah, we yeah. both worked on it. Mm -hmm. you, did you work together as a team, or you worked individually in your own? No, we worked together. We worked it was together. a really big canvas, and um, it was all, not only us two. It was a lot of uh, really Other talented students. people, and we both came together and we drew a really uh, painted a really. Tell nice us about that, Christina. So one of them was the national. Uh, goes on a tour for national park so we would g get an image that we liked incorporate the ideas from that image and make our own sort of national yeah, park our own yeah drawing of the national park the drawing of national park and then paint it and then mm -hmm. so some of the notes tell me that you worked on a video with Manny Cabo oh yes a music oh, video yeah. <laughs> yeah I saw that music video did you like it I did it was totally different <laughs> I met Manny yes. Cabo many times cool. when he was on The Voice, mm -hmm. and he's a student from the city of Elizabeth. He went to school here. Mm -hmm. He lives in Tennessee now, I think. Yeah. He's currently in Tennessee. He should right. be back mm -hmm. soon. So, so what made? How did how did you hook up? How did that how did that come together? Well, uh, for us, it was quite easy. We <laughs> just walked in, and Misty John was like, "Guys, we have an idea. We have to send in designs." Um, yeah, that's how it started. So how did it hook, how did, you, did you hook up with Manny Cabo? Anyway? I received an email through my principal, Ms. Alfaro. She sent me an email. She said, are you interested in this? He's looking for student artwork. So I asked a group of my visual arts students between seventh and eighth grade to give me some submissions. And what we'll do is we'll send them to Manny through the internet, we'll send them through email. Uh, him and his uh, team partner, Matt Webster, looked at them and they had decide, decided on Natalie's character designs and Christiana's background designs and then realized they liked Natalie's line work and Christiana's color. So we took the two girls aside at school. I sat them down and said, this, these are the characters we need, these particular type. We need one to represent this culture, one to represent that. We need one to represent someone in a wheelchair, someone, you know, they're all different people. I said, you can look at whoever you want for images and ideas but I need original. And they're like, no problem. And in a matter of a week, that whole video came together between me emailing him, him e emailing me back, the girls sending in their work, even through the snowstorms. <laughs> when we were off of school, we were working. And uh, it, it was a great experience because he turned around and said, these two young ladies and you were more professional than some of the professionals I deal with. So Christiana, did you get credit at the end of the video? Yeah. Is your name there? Yeah, they did, but they misspelled my last name and had to oh. fix it. But they fixed it? Yeah, they fixed or, it. I you, I'm hoping they're fixing it. Yeah, they should be. They so did you, you called them up and said, hey, 
uh, what they miss an O or a U or something? No, they, no, they gave her the wrong last name. <laughs> oh, oh, totally wrong. Yeah, totally yeah. wrong. Not even the suit, not even close. No, no. no. How about you, Natalie? Did they get your name right? Yeah, they got my name right. Oh, they did. So it's pretty cool to see your name. Well, Christian, in your case, you looked at it and said, "Who is?" this young lady right <laughs> so we're going to do some commercials and come back and talk more okay please stay with us after these messages we're back with more about the visual arts program at the william halloran school here in the city of elizabeth we're an american original dependable historic nuanced with all the comforts of home even when you're just visiting so we're celebrating for all that we've left untouched and all that we've changed place where the past meets the future. So consider this your invitation. We've been celebrating here in Elizabeth for 350 years, and we're just getting started. Welcome back to our city, and we're talking with some young people from the William Halloran School in the Visual Arts Program. And Natalie and Christiana, what inspired the artwork that Anna Maria, Mr. DiGiorano just spoke about the background and the and the people. What inspired you first to do that? Well, um, for the characters that we designed, they were actually inspired by our friends at school. We needed to have a diverse cast of them, and I some of them were based off people I knew, and um, that's how it kind of all came together. Yeah. And how about you with the colors? How did you? No, I just chose colors that looked well together. You did? Yeah. So, some of your favorite colors? Oh, no, but he recommended colors that he wanted as school colors, so I used a variety of grays, reds, blacks as the color scheme. As the oh, you color did. Color. And uh, so eventually you came together, and I didn't know the that actual artwork was based on people you knew. Yeah. Yeah. Did you tell them? No. I no. mean, I told, one. I told one. You told one? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the reaction of that person? They were like, oh man, that's so cool. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it is. <laughs> so, how do you, you asked me if I liked the video <laughs> before. Wh how, what do you think? Oh, well, um, I, uh, I enjoyed how um, it was to see, you know, the characters that I drew, they were still, and then in the video, they kind of move. It kind of brought everything back to life, and I thought it was really cool. What do you think, Christiana? I think it was wonderful as it spread a positive me message about bullying in school. It did. I mean, that was pretty uh, powerful, the message. Mm -hmm. You just wonder how many people will grasp onto it, right? Because mm -hmm. bullying is always could be a problem. And if you're bullied in any way or you know people that are being bullied, you got to tell somebody, mm -hmm. right? So uh, did you face any obstacles while working on the video? Any problems? I mean, well, apart from snowstorm. Um, everything kind of went smoothly. The computer I was using might have lagged, but everything at the end worked out. So how did you, how about you? Any, any obstacles for you? Uh, no, it, was all, it all went smoothly and worked nice. Mm -hmm. Because you, you were able to talk to Mr. Geronimo by the computer, right? Even though yeah. you had snow and it really worked for you. Yeah. Um, so you're in the Gifted and Talented program? Is yes. that what this is? Mm -hmm. So you told me before the show that you both got accepted into the magnet school. I think that's a big deal. Tell me tell me what you think and what your parents, you're getting a great education for free. Yeah, it's uh, it's very exciting. Um, you know, uh, the, you know, the opportunity that we're going to get. Will you be in the same school, to. Christiana? Uh, no, we're not gonna be in the same school, sadly. Yeah. What are you gonna be in? I'm gonna be in UC Tech School of Design. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're gonna be in? AIT, Information AIT. Technology. So I've been out there, and I've spoken to classes, and I have to tell you, it's, they have a great setup out there. But you, you can interact at lunch and things. Mm -hmm. You know, you might be able to have the same lunch period and, and grab a table together or something along those lines. That'll be fun. Uh, I, this is a question. So I'm going to ask your teacher, too, but I want you two to go, where do you get your inspiration for your artwork? Well, it comes from anywhere. It, yeah, the world around us is always, something is always changing, something's always new. You always want to incorporate messages into what you draw, what you paint. So you have some samples, and so does Christiana, but you want to show us one uh, that basically says you got a message in it? Um, 
I mean, <laughs> these are uh, character designs. Um, Just grab the book and hold it up near you, mm -hmm. in the front of you. This is, uh, these are a couple of drawings I have from pictures, Just, studies. There you go. Um, this is a character that we designed. Yeah. Yeah. And um, this this is what we usually do. We so this is a character that you designed. Why, what's that character based on? Uh, so Just hold it up a little longer. Uh, this person, <laughs> we based off blueberries. So it kind of has like the, the leaves are kind of like the crown. You know, the hair is curly. It has like the round lapels. Yeah, it, it all came in together. So you did that together? Yeah, we mm -hmm. thought about the ideas together. Okay, and Christiana, you did some digital one where you had a yeah. teen arts program. You brought it with you. Mm -hmm. So can you hold that up and tell us, ex explain to yeah. us what that is? Well, so this is the teen arts piece I, ma I made, and it's practically about the burden someone may face in their everyday lives. Tell us how. So this... Um, figure here in the, in the purple which represents like a distress and sadness and fear it represents this man's burdens about how much he's missing in life as he's in a suit representing him being a normal job like a lawyer or such and he wants to be something else that made him happy but he's currently just with so many burdens that he doesn't know what to do and he doesn't know what to do and what's know what over his head there an umbrella mm -hmm. because what the rain is yeah, causing boring. misery for him yeah it's amazing because I'm they like, come up wow. with these intense ideas and they bring them to life. Now, do you think other people that looks at that would get the same message or inspiration that you just told me about? Maybe. Well, it's you know why? Fast. Because I'm thinking it's a guy that's not looking happy. Mm -hmm. He's carrying an umbrella. He's upset that it's raining. But I wouldn't get the purple background as the stress in his life. I would miss that part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's the beautiful thing about art. It's up to interpretation. What it means to you may not be the same thing it means to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Did you work on this at all? No. <laughs> this is strictly Christiana's? Strictly Christiana. So, Anna Maria, what, what is your inspiration for art? My own art? Yeah, your own. My environment around me. I, I try as I've gotten older to be more peaceful, so I'll go to the beach. I'm, I'm forever like looking at the ocean stuff or soft stuff. But in my younger day, everything when I was studying in college was my environment around me, the people I met, uh, the music that influenced me, that friends played in bands back then. You know, today, I don't do as much of my own artwork because I'm so concentrated on my students and where they're going next. But I now feed off of them for their inspiration. Was I as, as talented as this at that age? Probably not. <laughs> Well, you didn't have. Di I mean, I hate to. We didn't it. have digital, but even yeah. with my own painting, you gotta understand her digital art looks so painted because Christiana is so gifted across the board with drawing, painting, value, technique to come to this in digital. Now you can't teach this, right? This is. They're teaching me this. That's what I'm getting at. I'm you, old school. <laughs> I know, but you. I mean, even. The work Natalie showed us on this sketchbook, you, I mean, you can't teach that. You have to have a kindred talent, right? You, you can give them the basics, but the direction they go in comes from them internally. It's their own talent, their own creativity, their own uniqueness. So your experience with digital art is Christiana and others are teaching you. Teaching me and showing me how to do, because it's a lot of eye-hand coordination, because you're working on a pad and looking at a screen. So you've got to know where your hand is going. Mm -hmm. And to watch them is just amazing to How'd see you pick how that up, Christiana, that. playing around at home? Or? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I bought a drawing tablet since I saw many artists online using it and making great art with it. So I bought one, and I started to get a hang of it. It took me around a week to get used to, but after that, I started learning. So you, you kind of stay away from the digital art, though. You more moved into fashion. I stay away from the digital art, um, mostly because the thing with the drawing tablet is that you have something separate, kind of like a mouse. So you're drawing here, and everything shows up there, right? Um, it's a lot of eye, like hand-eye coordination. Um, when I did my designs, they're done digitally. I drew directly on my screen because I have a tablet that allows me to do that. Okay. Fascinating. I'm glad you're learning about the digital art there. Anyway. It's it's a two-way street for learning. You know, they teach me some things, I teach them some things. It's, it's, so what's the preferred media? For me? Yeah. I am um, a pastels, watercolors, and acrylics. Okay. Christiana? I enjoy color pencil and digital a lot. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I like oils and uh, yeah, colored pencils too. So there's only two of you on the show, but how big is your class? You, you know, is there 30 students, 25, 22? Are there boys involved? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. boys. Yeah, we have a mixed group. Yeah. You do? 24. 24. We have 24 in the current class. 24. Because mm-hmm. that's what our room accommodates, 24. And do you help each other, even if you say you don't particularly get along with another student? Is there a way to input and help each other? Yeah, there's yeah. always collaboration and, uh, you know, giving each other ideas. Mm-hmm. Critique. There is. Critique. Yeah. Would you rather not take math classes and just take art classes? <laughs> well, our academics are really important, too. Good answer. If your parents are watching, they're going <laughs> to love that answer. <laughs> Right, Natalie, they're going to love that answer. Yeah. Christiana, would you say the same thing? Of course. Of course. <laughs> your parents are going to love that answer. Um, do you think being part of the of an art program helps you with the other academics? Yes, especially in our math classes, geometry. You have to, you know, draw shapes and be able to figure stuff out. Having really good coordination with your hands allows you to, you know, get more exact answers and have a better interpretation of what you're doing. So that's an interesting perceptive is drawing the arts program helps you with uh, math because it's a lot of geometry and shapes. Mm-hmm. Christiana, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I, I believe that like reading also helps a lot with art and art helps a lot with reading because when you read a story, you're able to visualize, oh, how would this look like if I were to draw it, like make this in my own way. You writing. took the next question out of, out of me. It's, does the academics help your art? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just stole my next question. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's right, Christian. <laughs> so do academics help the art, too? Of course. Of course. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so who's your role model for art? Well, I always look up to my teachers. They're, I know I see how they've gotten so far and how they can inspire other people, and I want to do the same. Christiana? Oh, the same response. Yeah, you like the, the teachers. And you've all worked with Ms. D. Geronimo, for, right? Very long time. <laughs> and uh, so, w- will you will you continue this type of effort in in the uh, high school? Yes. Yeah. I don't think once you start art, you can never stop. <laughs> yeah. Really, that's fascinating. <laughs> no, I really appreciate that comment. So, closing question: Do you uh, expect your students to become part of larger projects in in your school or in the art room? Well, we have a couple on deck that I haven't really discussed with them yet, but the Tour de Elizabeth is coming up, and we do the artwork for that. And those are the big panels. Um, there are a couple more projects that are beyond, like, contests for posters that are coming up for conservation. And I, I try to get the artwork out there for them. We go, we go city, county, state, and national. Whenever a project comes through, I throw it out to them and say, okay, who's taking which ones? <laughs> and my class divides up who, who wants which So levels. they all pick and choose type of thing, right? Yeah, they have, they have a lot of options in our program. Okay. Uh, by the time they're in eighth grade, they're student guided, not teacher guided with me. Mm-hmm. And then they'll come to me and I'm more of a supervising, helping them out and guiding them than I am, okay, you're the student, I'm the teacher. It becomes a collaboration for all of us. We'll sit down at a table. Where are you at? What are you having a hard time with? Let's throw it out to the other students and get in. So I want to thank you for taking the time to come on the show and thank you. bringing Christiana and Natalie with you. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Christiana, for being here. Thank you. I hope uh, you get to watch the show with your parents and uh, yeah. have a little. Oh yeah, have a little fun with it too, right? <laughs> so, and, and good luck in your high school career and all that you're going to do. And I, I wish you lots of luck and uh, well. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. I want to thank Miss Anna Maria Di Geronimo, as a teacher, for bringing these two fine young students to the show, Miss Natalie Mendez and Miss Christiana De Sousa, for their work as eighth grade students in the visual arts program, and wish them well in their high school career. I'm Chris Bolwage. We'll see you next week on another edition of Our City. Offering everything you could want from college including a life. Kane University.